T tracked hopper feeder. Telestack manufacture a range of static, wheel and track mobile hopper feeders with hopper capacities ranging from 7 to 24 metres cubed level fill. The HF24 is currently the largest unit in this range, weighing in at 65 tonnes. Currently we have units operating in various countries handling commodities such as bauxite, iron ore, gold ore and coal. This particular unit is going to a project in Australia and will be reclaiming iron ore in a stockyard. You will see from the walk around that this unit is compliant to several Australian, Australian mining standards. If we start with the hopper, you can see that it's designed to be fed by high capacity wheel loaders, such as a Caterpillar 992, 994 or a Komatsu 800 or 900. The hopper is approximately 6.7 metres long between the greedy boards. It has a level fill capacity of 24 metres cubed and can be loaded from both sides. The hopper is designed with 70 degree tapers to prevent material buildup on the hopper side and rear walls and also to aid the flow of sticky or high moisture material. The hopper can be lined with customer's choice of wear liner and in this particular case is lined with 10 mm thick Abro 400. Stainless steel or low friction liners are also available. The hopper also incorporates a heavy duty fall brake system which absorbs the impact of the falling material preventing a direct hit to the apron belt feeder. The apron belt feeder is a hybrid design which incorporates the robustness and strength of an apron feeder along with the sealing qualities of a belt feeder. The HF24T has an 800 kilonewton chain joined together by a heavy duty trapezoidal support bar system and is driven by two head sprockets. The 1400 wide belt is bolted to these support bars and the whole assembly is powered by two 37 kilowatt motors directly coupled to high torque, low speed planetary gearboxes and is capable of feeding capacity of 3000 tons per hour. The speed of the feeder can be controlled via the variable speed drive by adjusting the keypad which is located on the control panel. The control panel on the unit is constructed from stainless steel and the outer enclosure has a powder coated top layer finish. The panel is IP66 rated and is compliant to AS3000 electrical standards. It also has an onboard PLC. Power supply is via 20 meter three phase cable with a 400 amp plug and socket. The unit can either be powered from three phase main supply if this is available on site or via a 350 kVA standalone gen set. The incline boom has a luffing range of 0 to 20 degrees. This is achieved by two hydraulic rams on the support trestle. For safety, the support trestle can be manually pinned as well as having anti-burst valves fitted as standard. The belt on the incline boom is also a 1400 wide belt with heavy duty impact bars and centre impact rollers at the transfer point. Mine spec scrapers are fitted at the discharge point. The incline belt is powered by two 55 kilowatt motors on bevel helical gearboxes. Start method is via soft start and the drive system is low mounted wrap drive which enables maintenance from ground level. A head chute with internal impact plate ensures that a controlled feed is ensured onto the next equipment. The head chute is, has inspection hatches to view the material flow and also has head chute blockage detect, detection system. The boom as well as the rest of the machine is compliant to AS4324.1 structural standards and has been structurally analysed based on or, iron ore with a density of 2.4 tonnes per cubic metre. The unit is mounted on 75 tonne tracks with 500 millimetre triple grouser shoes. These are powered by the onboard diesel hydraulic power pack, as you can see. The operator can manoeuvre the machine by using the umbilical remote control. The power pack also enables other hydraulic functions such as the hydraulic jack legs, 
raised lower of the boom and top fold of the boom. You can also see that the front hydraulic jack legs enable the power pack to be lowered to the ground for better maintenance access. This is achieved by jacking the jack legs down, removing the pin and lowering the entire power pack to the ground. Typical applications for the HF24T include firstly reclaiming of material in stockyards back onto ground conveyors. The unit can be used for blending in conjunction with a stacker reclaimer or emergency backup reclaim in the event of a stacker reclaimer breakdown or routine maintenance. More and more stockyards around the world are seeing the benefits of such a unit in their operations. Secondly, the machine can be used for high capacity barge or train loading. Other applications include feeding shiploaders in a port or feeding stackers in a stockyard. I hope you have found this short video interesting. To view our range of hopper feeders as well as the rest of our products, please visit www.telestack.com.